right, guys, I got a brand new video for you today. I learned about something super cool that I'm really excited about and ran right out to pick up something from the store. Uh, I had to look around and hunt a little bit because they're not everywhere yet, so I feel pretty lucky that I found one and that I'm going to be showing it to you guys. So there's going to be um, a new cartoon from Disney. I'm not sure exactly yet where you can watch it, but it's called Marvel Rising, and down here... It says Secret Warriors, which is the name of a comic. This is going to be a different story because it's got all different characters, but if you look here, we have Spider-Gwen, who now is known as Ghost Spider, it looks like, which is a great name. Um, this is a pretty new character to Marvel. I bet it's only three, four, five years old, uh, but it's been very popular, and they've made lots of toys already, and it's been in video games, which is where I've seen her before. Um, so just a little peek at the, the artwork from the show. I think this is artwork from the show. It's really cute. Yeah, it's really great. So we've got a few different characters here. Let me get this closer so that you can see. We've got Captain Marvel right here. She's got a movie coming out next year. Uh, I don't recognize this guy. He must be in a new costume. This right here looks like, um, I think her name is America Chavez, and then this is Quake, and then this is the new Ms. Marvel. That's Captain Marvel, formerly Ms. Marvel. This is the new Ms. Marvel. Right here, Spider-Gwen, Gwen Stacy from a different timeline is regular Spider-Man right here, Squirrel Girl, and this is Patriot. I don't know about this guy, but I've, I've seen toys online for all of these other guys, and there were even a few in the store today. So, uh, here's some cool artwork on the side. They must have a toy for him. I don't know who it is. Uh, could be, I don't know, Wiccan? Could be Wiccan. That's my best guess, because they would be friends, and then they would be friends. Anyway, so these are really sweet, and I'm going to try to find as many of these as I can in the stores. Uh, but for today, this is the one that I picked up. So I want to open it up with you guys. And, uh, man, it's really cool. I almost don't want to open the box. Um, I'm okay with it because the box is kind of damaged. Okay, so I've got her out of the package, and better than Barbies, because Barbies, uh, maybe, maybe Barbies are getting a little more flexible, but in my experience, they were always very... Uh, stiff, uh, not really ready for action like these seem to be. All the Star Wars ones have been really cool, and there's a Wonder Woman or two that well, actually were not quite this cool. Um, but if this is this is Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider out of the package. So let's take a look here. She's got some really good details. She's really nicely designed. I think she's totally cute. I think her hair is awesome. It's just like it's supposed to be in the comics. She's got on a one piece suit except for down here with these boots. Uh, these are kind of a, a thick rubber and they're detailed and textured really really cool. Let me get this really close so you can see the texture. It's this really cool sort of scaly almost more like knitted texture. So it's really cool um, looking at her poseability just what I see so far because poseability is pretty important for me. I, if I want to make them you know, look really cool on the shelf or with Spider-Man type characters, I'll hang them from the ceiling sometimes with like, you know, dental floss coming out of their wrist or something like that. Uh, Posability looks pretty cool so far. So head moves. It's kind of stiff, but I think that it would be worn in um, if I just messed with it a little bit. I'm being really careful of the hair, which is held back by a rubber band on the side here. And I appreciate that. They, they could have gone with maybe a headband or something like she would be, would be wearing in the comics. Gwen Stacy always had a cool headband on. It's like her signature thing. But um, head, we've got some left and right motion. It'll go all the way around if for some reason needed to do that. Um, it goes a little bit down. It goes a little bit up, just barely. Arms here at the shoulder. She can go up to... Looks like the T pose, and then as far as going around, you don't want to go too much because of the fabric, the, the suit that she's wearing on the outside. But her arm goes back. It would probably spin all the way around. I'm just not going to test it, and I don't. I would never need it to do that. So um, elbows, let's check this out. We've got, she can go straight. She can go a little bit inverted, which that's fine. Straight, and then bending. If I get all the fabric out of her joint there. Looks like right about to a 90 degree position. And this one's the same. If we look at her hands, again, just more detail that I really like. She's got this cool spider web pattern on her palm. 
one hand in the web slinging position, the other one not so much. Um, the wrists, it looks like they go, they hinge back as much as a person could comfortably, forward the same, just about as, as much as a person could comfortably. And then they spin this way. There's no side to side like a person can do, but that's okay. Um, I cannot see the waist, it's underneath all of this fabric, but it looks like it doesn't have any movement. She doesn't bend forward, she doesn't swivel side to side, so that kind of limits her posability. She can go pretty wide into the splits this way, and legs forward like that. Back, ooh, not back so much unless you want to start going out. She can go out and back. And then this knee, here's straight. It, oh, that's nice. It bends a lot. That's for good posability. That's really nice. Um, then not really any movement in the ankles. Maybe if you take the boots off. Um, nope, I can see from here. There's no hinge or anything in the ankle. You can kind of see it right there. So I'm not going to bother with taking the boots off. Um, I really like the pattern on her clothes. They are really doing this right. I think they're trying to make kids and, and their comic book fan parents happy with this. Um, something already that I'm seeing, this hood that she has behind her head, I'm not sure that it's supposed to be worn up as a hood, which is weird because they show it on the box. Like here she's wearing it up on the back when she's wearing her mask. She wears it up, that's kind of her thing. So um, this hood, if you really need to, you can pull it up and have it go around her head. Um, the inside print is awesome. It's perfect. It's this spider webbed print with like silver and hot pink. The outside, they didn't really worry about. It's, it should be white, but instead what you can see is the pattern that's on the inside. And then on the back, it's not a, even a hood at all. There's just a big hole here. So I think that she's just supposed to wear it down and you gotta just deal with it. Um, and that looks okay. It's not the best, not really what I bargained for, but let's try this out. I haven't done this yet. If I take this mask, ooh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so she's got this mask that you can put on her face. Um, that's kind of cool. I do wish that it was a full hood, but I understand that like the hair would get in the way, and so that's a whole thing. Um, let's see what happens when I put the mask on and then pull this hood up. She's got her hair coming out. Uh, you know what? I could pull the hair through the back. Let me go ahead and do that. We're just kind of doing the best we can here with what we've been given and it's not ideal, but I think that maybe we could still make it work good enough. It's tricky. A kid wouldn't want to try to do this by themselves, but a kid probably doesn't care as much as uh, I do, I guess, about what's going on here. This actually doesn't look that bad with the mask up. You can still see the pattern on the inside of here, but I I might think about leaving it like this or just having her hold onto the mask. I don't know. You could really do whatever you want. Dealer's choice. She, um, on the box, oh no, I thought she was holding drumsticks. That must have been a different one. There's a, like a more deluxe version of the figure that comes with a change of clothes and everything. Um, but, but it looks like this is what we get. Apart from these webs, let's take her web hand and this web accessory, and you're supposed to use this ring like this and snap it around her wrist. So let's see what happens when you do that. It goes like this. So that's kind of cool. Let's give her a little... She's webbing something kind of a pose. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's fun to play with. I don't think that I would put it on there and then pose her on the shelf. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, I'm pretty excited for this line of figures, uh, and I'm dying to go and get a couple more. Um, I like them overall. Uh, it looks like that in each case, we may be just dealing with stuff like this. And actually, since I'm looking at it, something else that I've noticed, you see everybody in their costume. Like Squirrel Girl has a definite look that she always is wearing. Same with America Chavez. She has this cool shirt and this cool jacket that she wears. The ones that I saw in the store, nobody's really wearing any of this stuff except for Spider-Gwen or Ghost Spider. Um, that's kind of why I picked her up is because she looks the most faithful to what I'm used to. Um, but, you know, 
they probably are going to dress like this in the cartoon. I haven't seen it all. I haven't seen the cartoon at all, and I don't think that it's out. When it comes out, I don't know if it's going to be on, like, it doesn't say. Usually it would say on the box, like, Disney XD or something like that. So there's a chance that this is going to come out on the Disney app uh, that's what coming out next year or something. Anyway, this is what we've got. Um, I'm really excited to go get another one. And that's what we're looking at. Um, I want everybody to remember that if you really like this, it could be yours. Um, when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a kind of a drawing of the names from the names of all of my subscribers. And whoever is the winner of that can pick a toy from this video or from one of my other videos. And that's kind of how I'm trying to get people to come and watch this. Watch me do what I really like to do, which is play with toys and look at just really awesome designs. Man, that's such a cool face. She's got a real smug look, which is really fitting with her character. Uh, but anyway, so like and subscribe and share these videos. I noticed some of you doing that. Ask me questions in the comments. I've been answering a few today and hope that I'm able to get around to everybody just as fast as I can. Taking extra pictures and answering questions about the different toys. I'm happy to do that kind of stuff for you. This is my real passion. Um, so again, like, subscribe, share. Uh, let me know if there's other stuff that you want to see. And I'll try to get around to checking it out. And I'll see you guys later.